it? Yes. Yeah, because think of it this way. Some kid explained it really well, and I'm just, I've used their explanation. I've forgotten who the kid was, right? Okay. The, the one that stops, stops. They both stop, don't they? But one of them bounces backwards. What does it push off of to go backwards? The block. It's also pushing off the block to go backwards, yes? Isn't that another push? More push? Yeah. Watch um, uh, uh, defenders in football, right? When they go to hit somebody, sometimes they want to tackle them and grab them and be all clingy. But when they want to hit them, what do they do? Don't they, aren't they all springy with them? Aren't they pushing them off? Right? So you're running for it, and then you also go boom like this, and the guy flies like a lawn dart through the air. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's an amazing impact. That's what they're trying to do is they're trying to hurt somebody. Okay? Yeah? Aren't they? And they're just trying to soften up the quarterback, so they... The next time the quarterback, like, walks sideways instead of straight, right? A little applause for this. All right. Okay, now, somewhat less compelling but sort of cool, right, is there's, there's somebody actually designed a water wheel which uses, is this that trick pen it is, I can tell. Okay, somebody designed a water wheel. There's my real pen. That pen is the trick pen. Somebody designed a water wheel, and the sad thing is that they designed this water wheel right before steam engines were designed. <laughs> so we didn't need water wheels anymore, right? But a normal water wheel, whoops, here's the dam. Sorry about my language. Okay, and here is the water, okay, going like this, right? And what you do is you just have the water go out of a sluice, and it falls, and it hits the paddles, and it stops, right? Well, when the water hits the paddles and stops, it pushes on the paddles, doesn't it? And the wheel turns like this, yes? What would be better than having the water hit the paddle and stop? Could you design this thing so the water hits the thing and goes out of it? Yeah. Have you ever done this? Have you ever taken a cup, you're at a party, right? And you take a glass to the, to the kitchen sink and you go to rinse it out, and the water goes down one side of the cup and out the other side? Yeah. And then where does it go? All over you, right? Specifically, it like covers your pants, so it looks like you peed your pants, doesn't it? How many people has this happened to? Only me. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this is what they did: was they the guy designed this wheel, and he made it go like this, so the water would hit it and go up, and now suddenly water wheels were like 35% more efficient. Holy cow! And then they designed a steam engine, and they said we can burn fossil fuels indefinitely uh, to generate far more power. Yes. Yes, there we go, right? Okay, so, um, but, but this is called the Pelton wheel, and Pelton would be famous if he discovered it 100 years earlier, as it is. He's just a footnote in this thing, but it's interesting, right? So if somebody is hitting you with a fire hose, exerting a force on you, don't hold a salad bowl up and deflect it back toward them, because you'll generate roughly twice the force, yeah? The water will go back at them, right? You need twice the force, right, to, of it just hitting you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the salad bowls. Oh, wait, don't. Right? It would be better to turn the salad bowl convex side toward them so that it just disperses off to the side, right? Just remember that handy tip. See, that's what you guys get from this class are handy things like that that you can apply to your everyday life. Okay? Now, are we ready for the next thing? I don't know if you are. Now, just a word before I bring all these things out. The fireworks that I, I'm going to use are legal in the state of Nevada. Um, what? Okay. Woo! All right. Look at that. All right, let's do a little brand comparison here. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you. All right. Class, class, shut up. All right. Okay, here they are. Hello. 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 Here these guys are, and they are 
at rest, I believe. So the total momentum of the system is zero. zero. Okay. And now this is, by the way, what I bought these for. It's like, hmm. Whoops. They are too small. Mm. Hello. Yeah. All right. All right. I ask that you plug your ears. Please plug your ears. Plug your ears. There we go. Okay. All right. Yeah! Woo! All right. This is, I bought these because I haven't, these fuses burn at unpredictable rates. And sometimes you like light it and you've got time to plug your ears. And sometimes you go flash bang. Yes? Okay. Um, and so uh, I haven't had, I haven't had the greatest luck. What? Okay. So I went to Home Depot and I bought these. Um, and when I bought them, I went to some guy and I said, I said, can you tell me where the hearing protection muffs are? And the guy said, oh, sure, they're in aisle 11 down the left side, all the way near the end uh, on the bottom shelf. And I said, what? <laughs> okay. Now, before that collision, before that explosion, right, the momentum was zero. After the explosion, one can went this way and had a negative momentum. One can went that way and had a positive momentum. Is it possible that they, those two momenta added to zero? That the total momentum was not changed by this? Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Yeah. So, so this thing, this thing did not change the total momentum of this um, of these two cans. Now, let's get out uh, three cans because whatever is good with two cans has got to be better with three cans. Okay. And we'll aim one of them at John. Go. One of them at Kevin. All right. And one right. And one right at my forehead. I don't think so. Okay. Now, what I recommend, since you guys, since you have to plug your ears and protect your face, here's what I recommend is this posture. You can plug your ears with your thumbs and then kind of <laughs> like that. And that'll keep the big fragments, like the chunks of aluminum and stuff, out of your face. Okay. It might not stop all the little tiny fragments, like little little chunks of uh, you know clay and stuff like that, right? Isn't there something wrong if you're told to protect your face in a class? Yes. Yeah. There we go. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm too excited. All right. Fire in the hole. Whoa! Ah! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Did I get you? No. Okay. So, in this explosion, in this explosion, in this explosion, where is my eraser? We're trying to downplay the danger part of physics lately. What's the? I like the I like the like the instant replay. Who's? <laughs> <laughs> All right, stop. Thank you. Again? Yeah. Okay. 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 So in that explosion, one of the cans went right toward John. Right. One of them went toward. One of them went Kevinward. Right. And one of them kind of went like this. Yes. Now, is it possible, is it possible that this momentum before the explosion it was zero, is it possible that these add up to zero? Yeah, yeah it is possible, right? So I can, take, I can take this guy and go like this, right? And then like this. If I place these guys tip to tail, if this guy, I slide it over there, take this guy and put it there, right? It's possible that these momenta add up to zero, right? They go back to where they started. Isn't that crazy? And you can do that. Basically, you can solve any of these momentum problems. We're not going to do it. But you can solve them and do them vectors. All the x momenta before equal the x momenta after. Y equals y. X equals x. Right? You can use sine and cosine. It's really fun. Okay? Um, people who work for the FBI and do like uh, investigations of explosions and bombings and stuff like that um, use this fact. For example, Oklahoma City. Part of the truck went this way. Part of the truck went that way. Right? Some guy blew up the, 
the, one of our own people, right, blew up the, the government building in, 